you guys, welcome to Nola Dirt. Today we're gonna do the top 10 movies filmed here in New Orleans. Thought you guys would like to know. Some of these are very interesting, fun to watch, and you can support New Orleans by watching New Orleans films. So, no, we're gonna go in uh, not so random order. We're really gonna nail it down here. So, number 10, Cadillac Records. Uh, Beyonce's uh, basically uh, rocket to fame in her own feature film movie. It was the first movie where she was the star character. Um, she played Etta James rather than being a supporting character. Um, you know, you may want to see it, you may not. Um, I found it very worthwhile just to see the portrayal of Muddy Waters. And my favorite scene from the movie had to be when little Walter decided that it was too hot and he cut his Cadillac doors off and came up to Muddy Waters and said, hey, how about another Cadillac, Muddy? Number nine, Skeleton Key. Very interesting plot. A little too real if you ask me. Um, that one definitely left me scratching my head when I left the theater. Um, at some point I definitely did just want Kate Hudson to, to grow up hair and do some work out and knock, knock the zombie people out. Um, number eight, Interview with the Vampire. Pretty cool movie. We didn't feel the way we feel about Tom Cruise now then. He actually still had heart, heartthrob status so I did kind of feel his pain. Definitely liked Brad Pitt in the movie. Uh, understood his character a little bit more. A vampire with a conscience. I know it's done so much nowadays with all the twihards and the and the vampire diaries. This was one of the first. Um, gotta gotta give a shout out to Anne Rice um, for for the book. Um, definitely brought a lot of uh, interest to New Orleans. I think later on in in this. Uh, Either this week or next week, we'll go visit some of the locations it was filmed at. So overall, a very good movie. Did show New Orleans. Uh, it was pretty cool how they covered all the streets with dirt to make it look like cobblestones. Um, you walk down some of those streets now, you almost really feel like you're in that era of the movie. Number seven, Ray. Uh, Jamie Foxx's uh, swan song into Oscar nomination. Um, pretty good movie. Stuck to the st stuck to the plot. Um, it was interesting to see a reincarnation of Ray. It's really hard with somebody that charismatic to really outdo the the performer. But fair good job. Filmed down here in New Orleans. Um, number six. This one's for the young ones. Final Destination Four. Gore, gore, and more gore. Um, gotta love the racetrack scene. Um, that's kind of the pivotal scene uh, where he gets his vision of what's to come with, with uh, knocking on the door of death and how he's going to uh, evade it. And eventually, I'm sure, even though they say this is the last of the franchise, it was in 3D, I'm sure we will see a Final Destination 5. Um, number five, hurricane season. This went through several name changes. It was actually known as the Patriots while, while it was filming. Um, true story, um, featured Bow Wow, Little Wayne. Really, the pivotal part of the story was the story of, of these basketball players, high school, that came back together with their coach after Katrina and made magic happen. Um, if you're a sports fan and you like sports related movies, this is a good one. Like I said, true story. Shows a lot of New Orleans and a lot about the heart and what it took to come back after Katrina. Forrest Whitaker's starring role, uh, Isaiah Washington's uh, supporting role. Very interesting, definitely a, a worth watch. Um, we've got number four, 12 rounds. Gotta love John Cena, WWE um, superstar turned actor. Very believable. He, picks, he knows how to pick his roles. You may have seen him before this in The Marines. He plays a similar guy, tough guy. Um, doesn't really fit into normal society, given that he's built like, like a bull. But managed to throw, throw himself around, get some, get some plot going. Definitely interested. Uh, it's basically a terrorist attack, a domestic terrorist attack set in New Orleans. He's got 12 rounds to go head, on, head to head with the, the bad guy, the baddie. And um, I'll let you guys watch and see what you think about that one. Number three, Deja Vu. Um, I didn't really go into depth into the previous post as far as De Deja Vu versus Inception. Um, basically, Denzel Washington, ladies. Um, this might be one that you can rent with 
with your guy and watch some popcorn and eat some popcorn watch a movie and uh definitely worth seeing um denzel washington shows another side more of an intellectual side he's hanging out with the computer techs the the guys that have figured out how to break into the fabric of reality and interesting things happen i'll have to let you watch it's definitely a, a time-based thing um the, the main shot, if you remember when it was advertised several years ago, it was a 2000, 2000 I believe, four, 2004, might have been 2006 film. Shows our bridge, the Huey P. Long, um, getting blown to smithereens. So I'm sure there was some budgeting involved to get that looking as real as it was. So definitely worth checking out. Number two, Bad Lieutenant, Port of Call, New Orleans. Um, a continuation, the original Bad Lieutenant was set in New York. Uh, it starred Harvey Keitel as the, the namesake Bad Lieutenant. Um, if you've seen the first one, like I said, several years ago, you don't have to see the first one to see the second one. But if you're a movie person like I am, you kind of want to do your research and see the inspiration. Nick Cage heads up this one. Um, he does a very good job of being bad. Um, also stars Eva Mendez in a role that I haven't really seen her play too much since Training Day. Um, very good acting from both of these characters. Showcases New Orleans quite a bit. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, definitely worth checking out. Also filmed down here in New Orleans. Number one. Here we go, you guys. This is it. Top, top, top New Orleans film movie. Uh, happens to also be this year's summer blockbuster. Stars every single action star from the 1980s that you've grown to love. Um, this was actually directed by Sylvester Stallone. Uh, was filmed this past year, uh, during this, this time last year in New Orleans. And it is called The Expendables. So I can't give too much away. Like I said, it's still in theaters. Um, I want you guys to go check this out. Keep in mind, it's a New Orleans movie. It was filmed down here. And uh, you guys go out and enjoy some movies. Uh, New Orleans is, is definitely happening with the film industry. We love your support. And uh, let's keep it going, you guys. So I'd uh, love to hear your comments on what you think about my choice for the movies. If you have any suggestions, did I leave anything out? I'm sure I did. Um, you know, give me a response, either a comment or you can respond with a video. But keep watching, you guys. Rate and subscribe. Nola Dirt, peace.